amazing that since that fateful night on the 31st of May, when many of us in this country watched the awful, awful footage on Four Corners of those poor animals being tortured to death, many of us, if not all of us, lost sleep that night. And I can honestly say it took me a week to try and sleep properly after That's watching right. that footage. Yes. MLA has a team of experts, no less, God bless them, to further improve welfare standards at the 25 best facilities in Indonesia. We're now hearing really fancy technical terms about uh, standard operating procedures and uh, improving infrastructure and developing a thorough chain traceability system. You see, here's the thing, we're not exporting tables and chairs. We're not rolling out a national broadband service and we're sure as hell not trying to train up an international call centre. We're talking about sentient beings who just like us bleed, feel fear and pain and have the capacity to suffer just like us. I'm sorry, I'm really angry about this just like everyone else. And super secure kid on the head, this is not about being emotional versus being irrational. This is about being a true Australian and standing up for justice. So, you know, I'm not going to crap on about, you know, the arguments that are being put in place by government and the pros and the cons and all the ways they're cutting this issue. There's only one solution, guys. It's just got to stop. It's just got to stop. Slaughtering animals without first tree stunning them is illegal in this country. It's illegal. It can't happen. If you do that on our short, or in our country, you will be prosecuted for animal cruelty. But somewhere along the lines, it became okay to look the other way, push these animals onto ships, and send them over to a country that has no animal welfare standards, no protection, and no enforceability.